The Nigerian constitution does not guarantee freedom of movement to cows. Legal practitioner Bolanle Olubani said this in reaction to the president's response to the open grazing ban by southern governors. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo x-rays different opinions and now reports. Public analysts and legal practitioners have been commenting on the legality of the stance of the governors and presidency on open grazing ban in Nigeria. They expressed different ideologies and how this sensitive topic should be addressed. But Section 41 of the Constitution, while it allows the fundamental human right to every Nigerian to freedom of movement, does not give cows the freedom of movement. Human rights is not animal rights, according to our Constitution. And the governors have told that line. How do we now express to them that, look, if you stay in one place, you can enjoy the full uh, value chain of this yokati, whether it's going to be the height and skin, whether it's going to be the beef that is going to be properly treated, whether it's going to be the feces that we can collect and turn to ammonia gas for, to generate power, whether it's going to be the, the, the milk that we can actually set up dairy farms so that we can ensure that uh, the best is being achieved from the exercise. I would have expected that these governors would look at it and say, ah, since we are, not, we are unable to raise IGR for our people and pay salaries, this is not a bad venture that we can invest in. President Mamadou Buhari has approved the rehabilitation of grazing reserves across the country as from June to cop the bloody clashes between headers and farmers across the country. These experts suggest ways to approach this. What I would want from the federal government is to have a formidable information ministry that would communicate with a population of, of an, an Nigerian population that has like 80% of itself below the age of 35. In other words, that means we would have to create uh, uh, avenues that would have to engage people physically and let them understand where it hurts the most. The federal government, with the preponderance of people from the northern part of the country in the security apparatus, must not be prejudiced. They must not be extremists or hypocritical in the practical solution to the problem of grazing, cow herders, and security of lives and property of Nigeria. The citizens of the southern states, like all citizens of Nigeria, may have a right to expect their elected leaders and representatives to find answers to challenges of governance and rights and not to wash their hands off hard choice. But are the experts thinking along this path? For me, I support what they said. However, how they went about it is something I do not support. The first thing Governor Akere Dulu said when he was speaking is, uh, we want unity in this country. You want unity in this country, but you have actually said the southern governors are sitting down. Why can't you say governors have sat down? Despite the varied opinion on the open grazing ban, actual work for the actualization of the modern reserve system in a few of the consenting states should take off in June. Destin Mama for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.